current outbreak of Ebola virus disease in the Democratic Republic of Congo is one of the deadliest outbreaks in history. With over 1,100 deaths, it is one of the most complex emergencies the World Health Organization has ever faced. In 1976, the first documented cases of Ebola were recorded almost simultaneously in the Democratic Republic of Congo and South Sudan. The disease didn't re-emerge until 1994. Since then, outbreaks have been occurring more frequently in Eastern and Central Africa. The deadliest outbreaks took place in West Africa in 2014 with over 28,000 cases and 11,000 deaths across Guinea, Sierra Leone and Liberia. Cases were transported overseas to the United States and Europe. The historic 2014 Ebola outbreak in West Africa and the current outbreak in DRC are similar. Both regions have experienced recent conflict, including civil wars in Liberia and chronic political instability in the DRC. Displaced populations, devastated infrastructure, and disrupted education and healthcare systems contribute to mistrust of local government and foreign aid workers. Everyone knows that a university profile can be enhanced by the research publication that come out from the university. But unfortunately for us, here, we are doing very little research, and that is due to the serial lack of infrastructure. Okay, and but we really want to develop a research portion in the University of Liberia. During the 2014 outbreak, Liberia suffered more than 4,000 deaths. Healthcare workers were at disproportionately high risk due to lack of clinical infrastructure and insufficient training. Innovative solutions are needed to overcome complex challenges. That's why Baylor Global Health developed the Emergency Smart Pod, a mobile, rapidly deployable, shipping container-based intermodal facility that can be used as a clinic, a pharmacy, or a biosafety level two or three laboratory. The Smart Pods are set up to facilitate rapid field diagnosis and treatment for Ebola, other infectious diseases, and other outbreaks. Two smart pod labs and a pharmacy were deployed to Monrovia, Liberia to be used for training and laboratory testing in future outbreaks. While innovations can support the response to a health crisis, we must also emphasize the importance of prevention. Smart pods can be utilized for laboratory training and research before there is an active outbreak. Building capacity in local public health responders will increase the ability to act quickly and reduce transmission for future epidemics. The SmartPod's ability to be used year-round, regardless of an active outbreak, is key to its sustainability. SmartPods have been installed at the University of Liberia to support programs in education, research, and laboratory training to prevent future outbreaks and epidemics. We never dream of such you know, a facility, and it's a big, big you know, opportunity for the department of biology, in fact the whole university, and not only the university, but also uh, nationwide. I'm so excited about uh, in love with my biology. I just want to appreciate the management for this wonderful equipment. I said thank you. Now, the, our laboratory that we use is not equipped, but we are thankful that we are going to use the pack to be able to do our labs and we enjoy it. Although I don't have much time here, but it will be great. Thank you. And in the event of a future outbreak, the smart pod can be used as a central laboratory testing hub or be relocated to an area where the need is greatest. The successful implementation and use of smart pods can be replicated for response and prevention of future outbreaks in West Africa and other globally under-resourced regions. Our goal is that with adequate infrastructure and training, local healthcare responders will be able to overcome future outbreaks quickly and effectively.